Hello, everyone. This is Attack the Backlog, the podcast where I, Marcus Nez, tries to make a dent in their backlog one game at a time. This episode is all about Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, a Zelda-like where you play as a boy who's actually a turnip, and you didn't pay your taxes, and now your home's been taken away. I made your onion of all people. And in order to get your home back, you're going to have to complete some tasks. All Zelda like. With the hacking and the slashing and the puzzle solving and the dungeon crawling. Sound like fun? Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Keep watching and you will find out. So, without further ado, this is Turnip Boy commits tax evasion. Oh, oh and, and, and just in case you are having trouble hearing me, feel free to turn up the volume. Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion is a Zelda-like a la A Link to the Past where you play Little Turn Up Boy not to be confused with Little Lion Man who's not as brave as he was at the start. After getting evicted by Mayor Onion for not paying your taxes, you must complete a handful of trash tasks for the layered mayor in order to get back your home, wouldn't you know. These tasks include acquiring a fork, a laser pointer, and some green goop that may or may not lead to green poop. Along your journey, you will meet a vast cast of quirky characters, a plethora of gamer based humor like a popular streamer who wants a tier 3 sub, a tier 3 sub sandwich that is, and more than your fair share of receipts and documents to tear. It doesn't last long, taking only a few hours to complete the main story that is, so if Zelda you like and a Zelda like is like what you'd like, you may enjoy your time with Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion more than Mark Kuznez commits a rhyming abomination. I, however, found the risk nature of the campaign to leave me wanting more as I only started to get into into the game as soon as it ended which leaves me feeling torn. Now I think we can all agree that I've rhymed enough this episode and should put on my series hat so here I go. Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion was nowhere near my backlog radar but after I played an hour of the recently released Turn Up Boy Robs a Bank which is a twin six shooter roguelike and not a hack and slashy Zelda like I went from Turn Up Boy Commits what again to Turn Up Boy Color Me Intrigued instead. I had no idea what kind of game it was, how long it was or anything other than it featured some of the same characters from Robs a Bank and said characters like talking about the events of tax evasion so I wanted to know what they were all on about. But that was was where my knowledge began and ended. When it became immediately apparent that it was a traditional Zelda-like, I got excited because A Link to the Past is one of my favorite games and one of my favorite Attack the Backlog games. Check out that episode if you fancy. Sadly, Turn Up Boy Commits Tax Evasion isn't quite on the same level as A Link to the Past or other similar games, but it makes for a decent diversion thanks in large part to its humor and charm which may or may not be to your liking, as well as some eventual clever puzzling. I'm not super into game based humor so it was very hit or miss for me but even so I could tell it was well written if such humor is your jam. Many a time did I think this is not my kind of humor but if it was I'd find that funny. Backhanded compliment? Sure but I've experienced a lot of humor in this vein that makes me roll my eyes which is something I never did with tax evasion but I did roll my R's when playing turn up boy robs the bank. <laughs> the part where tax evasion falters most however is in its gameplay. While turn up boy commits tax evasion looks like a traditional Zelda game and is structured like one with a handful of dungeons with accompanying boss fights slash new items to obtain, the actual act of playing the game is a bit of a chore thanks in large part to below average combat. You quickly grow yourself a little soil sword which is eventually replaced by a shovel thank god cause saying soil sword is not something I like saying and it's not easy to say so thank you shovel which you use for dispatching familiar creatures like snails, worms, and pigs but the slow and deliberate nature of a attacks makes it feel a little stiffer than I'd like, not to mention the range had me wanting ever so slightly as well. This isn't a huge problem since combat isn't that important, but the stiff controls translate to tool usage as well, like your trusty watering can and potted pedal portal, making some of the boss fights a little frustrating as I fumble around trying to take them down by using my watering can to grow a bomb so I could kick it in said boss's face. Thankfully, autosaves are frequent so there's no need to worry about losing a lot of progress if you happen to die, but 
that didn't make the few times I died because of the controls any less annoying. And if you want to make things even easier, you can turn on god mode in the settings and breeze through the game. Like I said at the top of the episode, I really started to get into the game just when it decided to end. While the combat and humor never fully clicked with me, I enjoyed how it started getting a bit more puzzly as it went on, especially after you obtain the pot of Petal Portal, a pot you can use to create two portals you can walk through and send objects like bombs and blocks through. The creativity started to shine through and then the game was like, the end, and I was like, but 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 the pot show, which is a joke I'm pretty sure I've already made in a previous episode. And yes, I know, calling that a joke is more than a stretch, Neil. Am I happy I decided to play the game? Yes, it was short, sweet, and full of things some people eat. And while it may not have rocked my world, it was at least a game and didn't make me angry like Virginia. And that, my friends, was more than enough. Anyway, that will do it for this here episode of Attack the Backlog once again. I am Marcus Nez. Y'all can find me pretty much everywhere at PX Sausage. If you enjoy this here show or any of the stuff I do and what have you, you can support me and my nonsense over at patreon.com slash PXS. In addition to the Patreon, you can find links to the site, the YouTube, the Discord, and so much more over at PXSausage.com. But that is it. That is all. As always, thank you for watching or listening. I hope you enjoyed this here episode and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. But for now, Adios, a Rivadarchi. Bye. Soon there are seeds within, we'll sing our hearts of cloud.